you here at CES. Who are you? I'm Jeff Ravencraft. I'm the President and Chief Operating Officer of the USBIF. So what are you showing here? We're showing USB Power Delivery, which is a new spec. It was actually released in the fall of 2012, but we expect to see products based upon the USB Power Delivery spec enter the market later this year. This is really showing sending audio, video, and data and power up to 100 watts over a single USB cable. 100 watts? Up lots of amps, I guess? Uh, be 20 volts at 5 amps would be 100 watts. 5 amps, 100 watts. So it's charging from the USB right now, this laptop. It's charging from the dock. This is an Intel laptop. It's a big laptop, right? Well, yeah, but you, it, could be, it could be a tablet or whatever. Is it as much power as any charging device? Well, again, it depends on what the manufacturer wants to deploy, but the spec will allow you to deliver up to 100 watts. So that's 20 volts at 5 amps. And it has to be a full-size USB on this side? Um, or can you have micro USB doing yeah, that? Yeah, you can have, uh, have micro USB up to... Oh, I lower don't have, watts? I don't have... Lower. No, no, it's lower than that. Lower amps? Or lower... Um, but it, the... What's, what's going on in here? Can, All right, so we, we took a, we took a uh, docking station. Display this, link. This is 110 watts. This is 110 watt. 110 watt? That's, so, a, that's like that's a, a big... Charging this one? That's yeah. actually for the monitor. For the monitor. So you get a sense, that's a, it's a big power supply. It's a big power supply, and now You're it can be done. Over, uh, cable. Uh, but you need some electronics to support right. it over so, there. Okay, so this is... This is a docking station that's been modified with a prototype. This is an FPGA of the USB power delivery silicon that's supplied to us from one of our company's uh, uh, member companies display link. There's also okay, one of these all inside all here. You've got to have it on both ends. But it can be, it can be smaller than this. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a prototype. And this uh, is a USB power delivery cable. So you can see... The notebook is being charged from the, the uh, dock. Now I'm going to unplug it, and we'll lose the video, and this will start running off the battery. All right. All right. Now it's running off the battery. Yeah. We lost the video. Now I'm going to plug it back in. Cool. Nice. So, so this is it. The USB is going to power everything. Well, it can certainly power everything up to 100 watts. So here we're charging again. And then I'm going to move the video back on the other screen. And this is like USB 3 speed or? It'll work with USB 3.1, 3.0, and USB 2.0. It works with all the USB specs. What's uh, 3.1? What's going on with 3.1? 3.1 is 10 gigabit, super speed USB 10 gigs. So 10 gigabit, and before 3.0 is how much? 3.0 is 5 gig. So it's double speed already? It's more than double. So when was that released? This was released in July last year. And we're already able to demonstrate over 2x the performance increase over USB 3.0. This is a thousand megabytes of throughput, actual throughput. Nice. Uh, what makes it that USB gets faster and faster? Is it just uh, more slow? Or what is it? Well, no, this we we basically increased the signaling speed and did better encoding to make it basically run faster. And this is still a standard USB that goes only one way and there'll be a dual way one that's coming how soon? Like, uh, the oh, this is bi-directional. I mean like uh, the plug. The, the oh, plug. the new, the new the connector. New, yeah. the, the new type C connector, the spec will be done. So what's uh, the status for that? The spec will be done the middle of this year and then we anticipate seeing products in uh, 2015. Has it been said so far if it's going to be the similar size as this, or micro, or what kind of size? Well, the thought right now is it'll be roughly about the size of a USB 2 micro B connector. So it's like a micro? Well, it'll be roughly about that size. All right.